Oh look! Determination! She Cho Lightsaber Fall. Do 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 Alright, we got it. We don't have a lightsaber, can't use it, but we have it. So we have form one already. Very oh. nice. So if we're gonna be using force speed again, now would be a good time to get night speed because it'll give you an extra hit. Oh only she's casting night speed. I'm casting regular. Yeah. But but for safety, uh, the next one I would recommend grabbing is Dominate Mind. Either Dominate Mind or uh, Force Light or Destroy Droid would be the next two I would, I, I would grab. Them. I want Destroy Droid. Yeah, so we'll um, grab that one next. If they're saving this hard on me, yeah. when it works out, I'd rather it work and out perfectly. I think we'll get it just in time for some fundies. <laughs> good. So, good, yeah, good. and then Dominate Mind should be our next uh, most important thing because, uh, well... Arguably the funniest prompt in the game. I want to ask you about your your, your droid, buddy. Uh, might be able to later. Motherfucker. Damn it. Nah. All right, gotta gotta go on foot. What about the swoop? Nope, gotta go on foot. Crap. I mean, I don't think this the game would handle throwing a vehicle at me in this open another environment. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. So if you <sighs> sneak, if you sneak, you can actually get up behind them and destroy them, and they won't alert the guards. But screw that, we're gonna murder everything. I have what stealth? Yeah, exactly. What even is stealth? There is a part on this planet where we're gonna need stealth, though. So at some point, we are gonna have to flip back to um for uh, XP Atten. purposes. Yes. Okay, fine. And it's absolutely worth it. Oh, you got him. That's the combo, baby. Chrono trigger that shit. Hey. Bam. Bam. There's just something really funny about a dude running up and punching robots. Ooh, stop. Uh, okay, all right, all right. First things first, back up, because you yeah, haven't triggered the enemies. I'm going to draw them to me. You haven't triggered the enemies yet, so just back up completely. Great. Um, well, why not? Why I think not? you can switch to Atten and use stealth to pick up those mimes. Really? But I think it might trigger the cutscene. Oh, cutscene, because I, I, I was going to get into a fight, because they're hostile. And then fight They're them. not hostile yet. You you targeted the reason why it went to it, why it stopped is because you saw a mine. That's the, they didn't trigger the enemies yet. It was not. That. But those are the criminals from up top. Well, fuck. This so, is a bad place for them to be. Yeah. So if we're in stealth mode, I don't I don't know if it'll trigger the uh, the cutscene. So just take out Kray and put Atten right. in for a minute because he's got both demo and uh, and stealth. Give it an attempt. Yeah. You get in, and then we will uh, go into um, the switch. Yeah, and then switch over to stealth mode. Oh, does he have a solo? Uh, he doesn't have a, a stealth field generator equipped. We gotta put one on. Okay. Solo. Yep, and then uh, go into your inventory. Field generator. He should. I thought he had one equipped, but I guess he did not. So, uh, yeah. Uh, where does it go? Uh, right there. Stealth field generator. Belt? Yeah. Yep, belt. And then he has the stealth classes on, right? Stealth field enhancer. There, there we go. Just to make sure he doesn't get spotted. And then if he can't hack the mine... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, go to, You have to select a cloak. Bottom on bot, uh, the next to solo mode. Oh shit! Yeah. So stealth. Mm. Oh. There you go. Oh fuck. Okay. This now this might all be for naught because he might just trigger the cutscene anyways, and we might lose these two yeah. mines. But whatever, we can get two free mines out of this. All right. Recover. Yeah. So this is a. Uh, oh, whoops. First time trying this mode out. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, you, he un he uncloaked you. All right. All right. It's okay. We're gonna lose two mines. Because your guys are going to go running, because you got a punch guy who's going to go running into the fight, but... Whatever. An attempt a, was made. We tried. We tried. You seem happy to see me. I was thinking the same thing. Without our situation being stuck in the planet's surface would keep us from collecting the price Goto placed on your head. But you're so thoughtfully delivered yourself to us. Nice shit talk, bro. Now, how hard do you want these two mines for, like, 100 XP? <laughs> I mean, Wait, bounty? if we run Why back, they'll come towards us. So it's fine. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <the bounty? laughs> uh, if we switch everyone to, if we give everyone a ranged weapon, we won't trigger the mines. Okay, yo, Bayo, uh, you know. Y y hold, we'll chill, talk later. Chill. 
Chill. Don't you know the exchange is paying handsomely for the head of a Jedi Knight? Your friend here just happens to be one. But that's of little importance. All that matters is we take them back to Narshadar. I don't think so. You'll have to come through me if you want to take the general. That was the plan. What a polite bounty hunter. Right. At least again, just just shoot first. Don't even don't even give us the chance to prepare ourselves. Just shoot. Uh uh uh. uh so we can give everyone a range McClunky. weapon. McClunky. We can give everyone everyone give everyone guns, then we won't trigger the mines. He's got a gun. Put a gun on. We gotta use a gun. I'm sorry. It's fine. McClunky. That's what we say. That's how we roll. Uh. Plaster carbine probably better, but it does more damage. Yeah, one to twelve. Great. Big shoots. Oh man, time for a. Oh, and then turn off solo mode because we're in a fight now. Burp, 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 burp. Great. That that. And then start shooting. Wait. I'll switch over to you. Yep. He's uh. Can I? Nope. Too far to target. Okay. Now target. Pew. Pew. Oh man, the riveting gameplay of standing here and pew. shooting. Yeah. Pew pew. Man, we're ah super engaging. Pow. Pow pow. Pew pew. Wilhelm scream. <laughs> True. Yeah. And all right, that crap's been deal with. Switch, switch to Atten. Switch to Atten and uh, and go solo mode, and we're good. And we should have enough. Actually, switch to Beodor. He has the highest right now of uh, of demolition. Wait, so, okay, so, because we don't need the stealth anymore. No, we don't need the stealth for these guys. Fine. We will still need that spot with the stealth, so let's grab those mines, put Kreia back in, and we're good. Um, by the way, do, do my, does mine retrieval apply to everybody? Uh, as in XP-wise? Yes. All XP applies to the entire group. Okay. Yeah, we're still in solo mode, so yeah, grab those mines. Do, 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 do. Man, yep. can't you just like toss your cool arm out into the into the area and and grab it? Oh, don't worry, his cool arm comes into play later. Cause I want to see him like dousem it, you know. I want to ah, see him. It doesn't quite work. Or like I want to see him using the middle part to like fucking. Also, there's remains behind you in that droid. Electroshock somebody. There's some remains remains yep. behind you in those droids. Yeah, yeah. I'll yep. go to grenade. Awesome. That was real helpful against us. I'm so happy he didn't use it. So yeah, it should be the droid remains behind us, and then we can get back to uh, adventuring. You know, I want to see the fun stuff that comes with having Ooh, a cool elbow. That's very, very good armor Dash for the droid. Dash going for, inside for the droid. droid. Okay. And remote. Beep boop. Beep boop boop. Bop 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 bop. Beep boop boop. I like boop. your sounds, man. it has got some fun sounds. All right. Hey, Karth. Word. Karth, great. It's been real, but get out. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah. you didn't. You didn't confirm. Yeah. Got to use a X. I don't like this character menu. I prefer a, a picture of three. A th I prefer three boxes. Yeah. That you put the faces in. That's fair. That's fair. Confirm. There we go. Awesome. And then turn off solo mode because we're still in solo mode. And now we're back in party mode. Back to the game. One encounter. Onward. Five minutes for one encounter. Here we go. All right. <laughs> now we're, we're, we're good. We're doing it. We're good. Oh god, wait. Oh yeah, crap. Take that <laughs> off. Uh where's it, the sword? Uh, Vibro sword. Was it the sword? Yeah, and you want that one. Yes. Yeah. And with the big extra crits. And then uh Beodor to take his gun away because he was a punch boy. You don't need We are good. Wonderful. Uh Kraya, you're good with that axe. Yep. And then we we go. Stasis up. And then some regular swings. Where are you going? Get back here. Ooh, you're in for a world of hurt. That is unfortunate. Force is strong. Oh. 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 What just happened? Oh. Oh. Okay, so that was a dialogue trigger for a specific point when you walk forward, but you Shit. were still in combat. It's okay. Basically, it's like, uh, the force is strong here, da 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 and um, uh, I think it's Beador just talking about the environment. I've never seen that happen before. That was a weird one. That was a weird one. We didn't miss much. Just that, I hate the Zerka mercenaries. I like the planet. I wish I could protect the planet. And the planet has an effect on me, force-wise. 
apparently, according to the to the uh, space hippies. There's some remains. So we want to do some looking around here. Oh, okay. in combat suit. What's good. up with you? That good. sounds heavy. That's a good. It's light. Uh, you can just go to your equip and just see what it looks and see what it does. Uh, yeah, I just, yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Ooh, Mandalorian combat suit. So good against melee. Okay. But I, w I would assume that a uh, Mandalorian combat suit would be the heaviest of heavy. Oh, armors. the Mandalorian like armor is heavy and very powerful, but that's just the basic suit. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I think. Oh, wait. Sorry. No, you're <laughs> equipped. You're equipped. You're good. You have the right armor on. No, I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it just looks like, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no. it looks like your regular old light armor. Fine. Fine. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a long time till we find a, something on par with the armor you're wearing. No oh, this, doubt. There's an area behind you as well, too. I was going to get the roommates. Okay, fair. Quick check for... There we go. Shield. Shields. All right, there's the group over there. Yep. And there's and some rocks behind you, and there's a... This fucking field looks really cool. It is pretty cool. Basically, Into everything beyond that is death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, check the rocks over there. Bag! Skeleton! Don't give up, skeleton! He'll make it. <laughs> He'll get there. Hey, that's, that's all right. Oh, that's good, good money. Bag. What's behind the rocks? Empty. Skeleton. Nothing. Nothing else? Okay, good to know. Oh, a little oh, bit of oh, popping. Oh, pop, a little pop, bit of popping. Pop. Once you pop the fun dog. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Wow. Apparently he can also instant transmission <laughs> as well, too. He met the same race that Goku did? Yep. Hello. Oh, I remember what I remember what Beador said. He's like, oh man, group of mercenaries, we can go stealth by them on the left, or we can go attack them straight ahead. That, that's that's what he says. Stealthing. Sounds great. Yeah. Or we just rush them. Stealth. Stealth and secrecy. Sounds like a pretty car thing, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken here. Man, being stasis and then getting cut up must be horrifying. I assume you're I assume you're aware of what's going you're on. You're feeling it, right? It's yeah. surgery with like your eyes open. Yeah, like it's gotta it's gotta be. I assume that it, 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 it is probably something like a night terror, or um, it's gotta be right. What's it, you know a uh, 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 sleep paralysis? Mm, yeah, where you're just like I'm awake. I can feel my guts getting slashed open. This really really sucks. Yep. Any good remains anywhere? No, anywhere? Seem All like right, it. that's okay. We'll continue the murder. Oh, there's some. Here we go. Delayed remains. Another one. Good. We can sell those or get parts for that. Combat suit. So yeah. that's a medium. That's a light. That's the same one you just picked up. Oh, yeah. It wasn't the word armor. Never mind. No. Uh, we got a Canuck over there. Yep. Don't worry. We'll, we'll I'll make sure we hit the we hug the walls and we get all the, yeah. all the stuff around I just here. wanted to check out. Yep, yep. Just, uh, I'll tell you which one's progress and just which way not to go. Until then, explore the area. There's a lot to explore. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, you know. It's okay. I'm also recouping force at quite a handy rate. Yep. Would you be interested to know that there's a, a way to recoup force even faster? <laughs> even faster than completely. <laughs> Basically, but like I said, by the time we're at the end, you will be like, Oh, I've used my force ability. Oh, my force power's back. I used my force ability. I got more force. Yeah, exactly. Because you have extra regen from the feet, you have extra regen from your armor. Net positive. Yeah, so you're 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 in a good you're in a good position. Oh, you're a beefy one. Any good loot? No. No, okay. Oh, a crash with a bunch of stuff and a dead body. Is that what that is? Looks like a dead body to me. I thought it was corpse nothing. Uh, it's even worse than corpse nothing. It's actually nothing. It's, it's... Silence. Well, it's an Ithorian. Uh, let's open up this plastic seal. Repair kit, some credits, not bad. Can always use those. Now, I believe it's, yeah, there should be something behind these rocks. Yeah, you know what? You're not even wrong. Being unselectable is the ultimate in being nothing. 
because yeah. you're just you're not even noteworthy. Ah, oh, it's not these rocks. Okay, ball's exposed again. It's not these rocks. All okay. right, so search rocks. Got it. Search rocks. Hug walls. Hug walls. Except for the the path to the left. Don't go that way. Hall again. But yeah, I I feel like if you're not even worthy of being a loot drop, you are background decoration. Yep. That is, I think, probably that is that the pinnacle of you are an NPC in someone else's story. <laughs> there is no you. You have no life bar. You have no descriptor. You have no name. You simply exist the same as every piece of background. Like theoretically, a Footlocker ranks higher because you can interact. It with is the an Foot interactable Locker. asset. Yes. A plasteel container has more value than your your entire, entire life. existence. Yep. yep. Your corpse on the on the on the beach doesn't matter. Your it, it, everything you accomplish after that point doesn't matter. No one will remember it. Nobody cares. <laughs> you, the sand you are lying on has more worth because it is providing a surface <laughs> to to walk, <laughs> to walk, to walk upon. upon. There is collision. Backpack, plasma grenade, amplifier. Great. That's the same one we had before. That's um three yeah. reflex and one dex. What you got in your bag? Sonic grenade and a med pack. Yeah, you know. All right. Good so stuff. they just, I guess that's the sound of flies, as in they stripped all the meat off the bones. Probably the Canucks doing their doing their thing, yeah, yep. And then we've got a... Uh, we got some, it feels like that's textures that didn't load in properly. Yeah, it feels Ugh, like that's, Don't look too hard over there. Oh, there's some remains there. Good stuff. Frag grenade inside of the beast. There is a lore explanation. Come on. Trust me, there is. They eat everything. They eat oh, absolutely God. everything. Okay, we yeah. got some mines, so we can go to Beodor. This is straight up like when we, uh... This is like when uh, we're playing... I Don't think, forget solo mode? Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's like when we were playing, um... Parasite Eve, and you mm. shoot that dog, and a sniper rifle comes out of it. <laughs> and you're like, yeah! You know what? Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. I'm down. Yeah. Sniper dog was waiting for us. We ju you just got the drop on him. He hadn't, he hadn't quite set up yet. He didn't quite set up to you take know, a shot. And you, th you think you think about a dog, and you, you think about the size of a sniper rifle, and you're like, yeah, you can get that in there. I mean, if you're hungry enough, you can get anything in there. Let's be completely With the honest. right attitude. Right? With, with determination. Scope sticking out of its fucking stomach. Uh, I've seen dogs eat so much crap. Two hidden caches like this. We should keep our eyes open. Oh, good. Hidden caches. It automatically switched back to me. Because he was talking to you. But I want you to pick this stuff up, Yeah, bro. you will. Credits. Life support pack. Really good two good... Really good med packs. Uh, Probably won't pack. use them, but, you know. Never hurts to have them. Uh, in my experience in the first game, I eventually hit a point where I did. It's shiny lot armor. We yeah. had that in the first game. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah. It's probably not going to be useful for us right now. Yeah. No, um, med packs came in handy in when the going got tough. And we had to pause and just heal in the stopped time. Yep, for sure. And this is just a little cliff into yep. the abyss. Mm. All right. They're basically trying to terraform the planet, so there's huge chunks where there's just land missing. So, you know what? Sure. Otherwise, you know, again, pretty peaceful. Yep. Yeah, yep. we won't really be using too many health items, but okay, stop. Save. Dance this, is, this is the spot. This is the spot where you need to use Atten. Stealthin. Yep, stealthin and and uh, and taking some items. So let's get yeah, let's get Kray out of there. Great, perfect. Nope. What's going on? You uh, yes. gotta confirm with X. Don't worry, we won't do two. Listen Not, that's to a me. That's a lie. There will be lots of party switching eventually. <laughs> Listen to me carefully, once and for all. I will always forget to press X on this menu. 100% of the time. Wooly, press X not to die. Let's go. Uh, stealth mode engaged. Uh, if you just click stealth, you automatically go into solo. Oh, oh, that's... Okay, yeah. good. And unfortunately, this is going to take a minute. So do you have anything, any questions so far about, about the lore so far? I have questions about how long stealth mode lasts. As long as you want, until you get spotted. Oh, it's not a cooldown. Nope. Okay. It's just whenever you want to activate it. Also, fun fact, because we haven't a I haven't actually addressed it yet, or we haven't really looked at it yet. Kreia can stealth without a stealth field generator. Eh, 
Okay. And pick our way through. That was me we'll literally. Some time to disarm some and clear a path. <laughs> that was me literally gasping, going, "Shut! What are you Stop. doing? Go back into stealth!" Because you don't know what the distance on the on the uh, Wait here. the distance on the thing is, right? Well, I kind of do, but at the same time, yeah. Heavy defense turrets. So we should have more than enough stealth to they won't see you. I can't select the mines though. Not yet. You're not close enough. But I can target the turret that's past them. I guess. So just go forward and then wait until you can get close enough. There we go. What the fuck? Why would that? That's so dumb. I'm sure there's a mechanical reason why, but am I even? Yes, that's yeah, the correct. Yeah, mind. you're good. So there is nine mines here. So it is. This is actually there's twelve. There's twelve mines. Nope, there's not. There's nine. I miscounted. Okay, so if you had no skills whatsoever, and, and you did, and and worse, if you had no awareness, this is game over. You well, like you just run through a bunch of explosions. Like I'll get these two things. Bah, 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 bah. Like oh, there goes all my health. Right, awareness, awareness. So yeah, this is one of the like two or three times in the entire game where stealth is actually useful because then you can just clear this path out, get all this loot. And they put it nice and early so that, like, you might actually regret your choices by underestimating that that uh, ability. Yeah, and also, it's, uh, you know, it's it's nice that even though it w I was a little worried where I'm like, oh, God, Atten, please go back into stealth. Please don't glitch things out. Yeah. Uh, he, at least he goes, there's a minefield. Hey, there's a minefield here. So, yeah, put which also leads me to believe that a bunch of people in the in testing ran through the minefield constantly and blew themselves up. Yeah. If they put a prompt there, that probably tells me, like, hey, hey, there's a minefield here. Well, now I'm like, yo, put your hands up if you encountered this, and went, damn, I guess stealth is a dump stat. <laughs> yep. Right? Okay. Yeah, there is one more? One more thing like this where we're gonna be, like, minefield our way through, but, like, again, it is... It's more just to get the extra XP. It's a little bit of a time-consuming, but there, it's, you know. There's no reroll in this game, huh? What do you mean? Re stat re- stat re- re No, there is no, there is no. Yeah. It is, uh, you're pretty much hard-confirmed to whatever you pick, which, uh, I kind of- I don't know, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that in games? I like there being a way to get it, like, get an item, like Souls, you have to get an item, mm -hmm. you have to do a process, I don't mm -hmm. mind that. Spend some money. Or on a job change, right? Mm -hmm. On a, yeah, on a yeah. class change? Yeah. I feel like that's a fair place to do it as well. Um, if you want to commit- uh, you know, you give their you don't have don't make it like there's no consequence to committing, mm -hmm. but make it so that you could rarely but possibly still do it. Okay, so you can either do a quick little attack here, or you can run back to your party and go in with your party. Because now that you're in cloak, you will actually do you should do a crit hit. You should do a pretty good crit hit if okay. you're in cloak. And then they'll run. Okay, well he'll get he'll wake back up if uh, the time comes. Yep. Uh, so unselect um uh solo mode though. Burp, burp. So they come running. And then, yeah, go run up, because you, you got other guys are nowhere near close to him. He's about to get meat. He's about to be your shield. He's He's got, uh... He's doing it. He's doing it. You're catching up. You're fast. You're fast, boy. You Come on. No. Thank you. You got this, At. You're definitely not under-leveled. You got this. I'm not scared of him dying. No. He gets back up. Yeah, he gets back up. Oh, yeah. Destroy droid for sure. Absolutely. Great, awesome. Uh, and this is right on the hard limit of the fucking... Yeah, so that's everything in this area, I believe. Um, also, bye, Atten. Sorry, but you're kind of useless to us right now. Yeah, before I save, you can just... You can go. Look at the big dark blue! Mm-hmm. It's looking pretty good now, right? Looking Look at like my it. back. We got a bit of that that ascension, if you will. Uh, da, 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 da. Combat. Yeah, that's because we're still in the animation. Now it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you know, RPG. RPG. Cheers. So I think we do have one more cache somewhere, although I can't quite remember exactly where it is. This game, without archaic engine running it, would be glorious. Right? I feel like if there was ever a game that could be, like, remade and and just, like, update it for, like, a modern... So I think there's one more cache in this past, past area. Oh, but okay. I'm just... I'm acknowledging it right now because, frankly, I don't remember where it is, and it's... I don't think I've ever gotten a good enough loot drop to for it to really matter, but we can go take a look. Do the monsters respawn? No. Because here's the thing. Yeah, we have, four, we have four speed. We can do a quick little run yeah. around. Yeah, you think about how, um... Like, the, the thing with this game is that it's so, like, uh, D&D... Yes. That, like... Oh, it is D&D, &D, completely. You don't... The mechanics don't have to be... Here, we've got some remains over here. The, the mechanics don't have to be... Um, 
Oh, you know what? Go check by the shuttle. Uh, back, back, back. Yeah, like way back at the start. Okay. Uh, so not that way. Yeah, go check by the shuttle. Yeah. So there was a big open area back there. I just maybe just didn't hug a wall. Because of the because of the the, the, the mechanics being just D and D, like, uh, all you have to do is smooth out the you know the conversation, walking around the world, mm -hmm. and maybe jumping on a, a swoop bike experience, mm -hmm. and you don't have to do a ton in terms of like action mechanics. Yeah. Because this is fine. You take your turns with, you know, with rolls. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's, I think it might the be the other, uh, other side of the wreckage. Yeah. Other side oh, of the wreckage. yeah. Look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Okay. Well, then. Yeah. Do Perfect. what you got to do, bro. Do his thing. So Swotor kind of does that. It basically makes it more WoW and less like hard D and D. In uh, in that and and. The mercenaries <laughs> have at least two hidden caches like this. We should keep. Thanks, Beodor. Appreciate it. Appreciate you telling us. Switch back to him. There we go. But yeah, uh, Swotor kind of does that where it takes that mechanic of, you know, the, the turn-based thing. Yeah, make sure you're selecting the one in front of you. Yeah, free XP. Yeah. You can walk on the wrong one and blow the fuck up, yeah, right? You get, yeah, you select the back one and run through the, through, run through the one in front of you. But uh, um, the thing is, depending on where you are in, uh, in later levels of the game and, like, when you're getting into the more, like, group-based stuff, um, there's a lot of mechanics that involve you, like, running around from location to location and, like, positioning yourself to get good hits in... And they do make it a little bit more interesting than just, like, run up, mash keys to win, you know, or mash the keys in a specific uh, combination to win. Mm. So it's a little bit more a little bit more of an active system than this. Oh, I assume all the quality of life that we saw over the entire Mass Effect franchise mm. showing up in a game like this would be pretty much all you needed. Okay, you know what? I take that back. That's a good blaster to sell. <laughs> A good, it's good. It's a good weapon. Riot Buster sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I, mean, I like you know, this. I like the sound. Anything of it. Buster. Buster. Is, Buster's a song. I'm word. a very predictable. You know, there are keywords you can type into the Wooly Search that will automatically auto auto result. Buster is one of them. It's pretty high up there. Uh, where'd it go? It should be there somewhere. There it is. So Sonic attribute damage and 50% chance to stun. All right, so have you ever played, like, Sonic as your main thing? Uh, no. Ever. Has anyone? Uh, I'm sure someone has. Why are you in combat mode, bro? Uh, it's going to make you were just a... Uh, oh, because you were equipping items. If you equip if you equip or unequip items, they uh, they go into combat mode for a second. Okay, now we can leave. But, um, yeah, it's a... Uh, there's a lot of ways to play this. I'm sure there's every possible combination of playstyle has been done at this point, especially in KOTOR 2, because, as we keep mentioning... It gets pretty easy towards the end of the game. Mm. So, the KOTOR 1, um, I don't know. I, I think it would be important to, like, if there's any combat modes or styles that are just inherently not that fun, you want to find ways to make it more interesting. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, standing with the blaster and zip zopping is not as exciting as jumping up in the, in, in, in the fray. Yep. But you could work on ways to, to make that better. Well, I think um, that's where, a, like, a punch, a punch, or a, a blaster Jedi, it makes that interesting because then you can blast and you can still use force powers. Right. So you can at right. least still make it more interesting than just pew pew. Or, like, gunslinger things where you can target two people at once. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, have, have little abilities like that. Uh, laying mines. Mm -hmm. Let's say you wanted to actually do that in combat somehow. Make there so make it so that you can actually like draw people in. Or, okay, so for know. for context, there are mines in front of the next encounter. Let's just run through them. Yeah. I think we're good. there's no way to do it without standing and blasting. So I think we're okay. <sighs> we'll take a couple hits. All right. I think we're I think we're good. I think it's like three mines. We, we, we just recovered. Like, you try to head that's oh what I mean. God. And spot it again. We're close to the compound, so they'll be getting ready for us. Again, could have stealth. Screw stealth. Oh, good, it worked. Get wrecked. No mine. Not yet, but there's mines coming up. Oh, oh, after you. Yeah, okay. we just honestly we disarm the minefield. We're good. We got a lot of XP. The humans are here. My charts did not work. Pakashuka Muka. Oh. So if you want, go ranged and shoot him from ranged. If you want the mines, if not, I think you're fine to just run through them. All right, well, it's only like four mines. She saved it. Or I guess you could throw a grenade. You could do that, but then you have to also make sure your other guys don't go running through the mines. <laughs> Whatever. That worked. Tank it. Did I even lose life? Uh, yeah, you lost like a sliver. 
Oh, this is a good time. Oh, uh, switch to Beodor. Great. Um, cycle through your uh, target. The uh, yeah, you targeted her. Great. Uh, cycle through the attacks and pick Shield Buster. Not on the robot. On her. Not on not on the robot. On her because she has a shield on. Uh, well, yeah. Cancel everything out, and then use Shield Buster. Yes. Yeah. Because she has a melee shield on. I'll oh, stop doing the default attack. Well, well you're, you're in the middle, in the middle of, of it. Yeah, he's in the middle of it. Yeah. Okay. So, shield breaker. There you go. Bam! Oh! Bam! And a stun. Oh. And a stun. Oh. And a stun. Oh, that was great. That looks cool. All right. Sick. Sick. Oh, look, we saved a mine. We can go disarm it. Kapow! All right, everybody stand still. That's great. That's great. It's a fun little mechanic. And she gets knocked down bit. off of it like, fuck you. I think that was a different power, but that still looked it looked cool. It looked like I punched her it to the ground. Yeah, it definitely stunned, though. All right, back to party mode, and let's see what drops they got. And then, um... This feels like a good spot to save for a second. I would say so. Just uh, no drops. No, no drops. drops. But, uh, you know. All right, so we got a Toilek who's all like, what the fuck? And she's one of them yellowish, greenish ones. <laughs> she's clearly sick. I mean, blue or green, you know? Or red. Or red. Red. Or red. You know, I'm a You're blue right. guy myself. You're I right. like myself some blue. Talon. But uh, Talon's the coolest Twilight. They're out friends. Of all of them. Out of all of them. They're friends. So I saw the group over there. I'm just yep. seeing what's going on over here. So when you walk into that group, you're fighting an entire area. So just letting you know. Okay. Do what we gotta do. Yep. You should be okay, but there's a lot of fighting. Oh, you have to go through dialogue first. That's gonna exhaust before you... Yeah. There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have <laughs> Axe to menacingly floating there. off screen. The chop. What do we have here? The Jedi. Hey there! Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were this dangerous. This is a different face. Maybe he does know what he's What's talking What's up, Blando? About. That's a different face from my playthroughs. Is it? Interesting. Huh. I wonder what causes that. Probably because you're picking a specific face. <laughs> Or, or, oh, so everything rotates around? Yeah. Right. Some faces change. Right. Or, like, uh, add male or female stuff, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pay you five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> can I pay you? I'm going to pay you $100 to fuck off. <laughs> exactly. I think that would be more than all of Zerka combined, considering how much they've been playing you. Um, he although, was right. Yeah. We'll see. You may have caught a few of my boys off guard, but let's see how you fight now, Jedi. Attack. It's so weird that you know I'm a Jedi and you still are going for it. Yeah, uh, so a good idea. Let the first round of combat go and then see who has his shield on. And then, and then just get select Beodor and then get the punch all the shields. I'm out. starting to understand. That's his strongest ability. I'm starting to understand. Oh, look! Shields! Punch. Oh, missed. I that actually hit him. him. Oop, yeah, punch him. Punch him with the shield. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Bayo! There we go, got All him. Right. All right, get the other guy. Don't fuck, don't, don't, don't look yeah. bad, Bayo. You're on my good graces yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, he's still swinging on that guy. That's okay, the next one should get him. There you go, shield gone. All right, now we can, now we can proceed to fight like normal. Very okay. useful ability, yes. right? Very useful. And if I don't... Is, is he right. on the right pattern to do that automatically? Uh, or, I don't, or, or I don't he's, think... He's I, not? I think you have to select it manually. All right, kill everyone, because there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of people here. Zone wide. And you're in the fight right now, so you might as well just full commit to the fight. Yeah, that's fine. Just a heads up, Kreia has no force powers left, so if you start getting hurt, you might have to pop a force heal on your, on your thing. Okay. So yeah, don't try try to hug the left. Oh, her life matters. Well, her, her force meter's out, so she can't use heal on you when yeah, you're in the fight. Yeah, yeah. So try and hug the left, take manual control, try and hug the left and not trigger those guys. Oh, they triggered. Okay. Doesn't matter. You got a lot of guys firing at you, so. Yep, let's start on these. Let's start on these. Uh, okay. Eyes on life. I'll keep an eye on the life. Yeah. I'll watch the health bars. You you watch the who you're shooting at. Great. Uh, I think you got a second. You're still in combat. All right. I think you got a second, but there's still there's two groups left. There's the group to your left and the group to your right. Which way is which way is a uh, 
uh, your AI buddies going? To the right. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. That's well. Just follow, oh, for, follow them so you don't. Yeah. Split exactly. Up. Exactly. Bam. All right. Last group. Oh, they never came out. Yeah, I guess they just stayed over. And you might want to switch to Beodor anyways, because so, there's two melee shields, and that'll just make this slower. They'll, they'll be able to tank hits from your sword, so run up, punch those guys. So, yeah, vet, the veteran mercenaries. Also, the guy in the back is throwing a grenade, so... Let's get that in there. Bam! Okay, get the next guy. Deselect the attacks and get the next guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now you got it. Now you yeah. got it. Nope. Just got to find the rhythm. Come on, it. It. come on. Get back here. There, there you go. we go. There we go. Now you're all good. All right. All right, force is almost Oop. out. Beodor is getting a little low. Might be good to pop a heal. Uh, so it'll be on a... Oh, you can just use heal, like the ability. You have the ability. Yeah, but you know the... I know, I know, I know yeah. the method. I know the method. Let's... We're not desperate all right, yet. We're all not right. desperate yet. You're at full Force habit. of habit. Uh, so it would be just... Yeah, right there, side. and there you go. Just get, practice using... Switching different force powers and stuff if you want to use different force powers. Okay, right? and... Yeah. You're good. Just pop heal, and it'll pop heal if you're a party. Okay. Yeah, you're good. There you go. He's got some health back. Fine. Great. Not bad. I'd say this is probably the hardest uh, encounter you've had so far. Yeah, don't go off those mines yet. No. Yeah, great. All right. That's everyone. Everyone dead. Great. That was probably the most difficult encounter we've had so far. Let's go. Uh, don't go off the mines yet. Okay. Don't go off the mines yet. We have okay. to do... Let's just explore the, the... We have to go that way. That's progress. But uh, we might as well do a quick little loot. And we also have to go back to the uh, the landing pad for yeah. uh, to be able to go that way. I, okay, I was just worried about accident. Nah, we won't. Accidental steps. We'll be good. We'll be good. Time to do a little bit of a loot, loot, loot. Take it from the top. Disruptor, Disruptor rifle. Spike. And another good shield. shield. Nice. All right. So, so yeah, we came in from the left. The so bodies be were some, over here. Yep. Those remains, like, blend right in with the ground. Like, bad texture to, yeah. to spot them. Yeah. Okay. Great. So the droid's name is Remote? Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't think it actually ever gets a name. It's just a remote. Okay. Then we got Anything over here? Ah, oh, we got some up here. here. Good, good. Security okay. spike tower. Can't, nothing wrong with that. That looks like a Star Destroyer door. You know the doors inside? Oh, yeah. I guess it might, it might be the same model. Uh, a bunch of stuff up here we need. I hate when you see a bunch of these, but there's only one. Yeah, that, that always gets my hopes up, and it's like, damn it. Like, imagine if there were fake treasure chests in the Zelda game, you know? Yep. Alright, All right, we need that console anyway, so... If you want to go interact with it. Pre... pre-loot? Yep. This won't... this won't hard progress us, okay. but we need to do this first before we go to the mines. Be able to access the shield network from this console. Hacking, 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 hacking. Thank God he actually Good. does it himself. Functional. My passcode still work. Now let's find your ship. Good. The Ebon Hawk was not at any sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. I mean, they're also pretty shit cops, so... Mm. Has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's Good assumption. That's access to the shield network. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Hacking! Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle. More like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. What is what it? What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region. But nothing should be down there. Orbital camera show. Nothing. Just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. Thanks, Grandma. Are we gonna get to the polar region? That's a little tougher. 
According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we know th we don't know the shuttle will still be there or working. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. Like this guy. Great. Let's go. There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Well, <laughs> like I said, shall we? Yep. So, uh, quality of life improvement request uh, number one. Can, if we're in a party where, like, we've got a computer specialist and he's got the highest stat, mm -hmm. when I walk up to a computer, just assume I want to use him. Yes, absolutely. You know? Masasai. We know what the Masasai are. We watched an episode zero. That's the twisted, messed up Sith race that turned into beasts on Yavin 4. Uh, are they the red guys? Yep. They the, the mutated ones, though, that Nagasado made. Or Nagasado, however you want to pronounce it. Okay, yeah, okay. So this one, like, because there, there were the human looking ones, and then there were the ones that were started melting. Yeah. The Melty Boys are the Masasi. The Melty Boys. <laughs> the Melty Boys. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, let's see what you look like. Masasai. It's, you know, regular old thing, but it does have an immunity to critical, hit, critical hits, which is useful. Long-term domination by the Sith has erased the memory of the Masasai rituals, which this armor was designed, but it retains effectiveness in the battlefield regardless. Yeah, it looks like looks like last one. Yeah, no, it's pretty, it's pretty in fact, fiddly. In fact, I'm about to call this game's bluff. Let me end its whole career. Mm -hmm. The Masasai uh, ceremonial armor and... Oh, yeah. No, I know what you're thinking of. Where the fuck is it's it? It's the second one down. Mandalorian combat suit. What's the fucking difference? Okay, listen. Well, they only had 14 months to make this. Come on! They only had 14 months. We gotta Come give a, on! We gotta give them a break, though. One of them was a warrior tribe from the recent era. The other... Way back in the past, alien red suit like cut like yeah yeah yeah. As listen, long as listen, no listen. one fourteen months fourteen months fine. But then does this mean that the lore is we're a on a reskinned Dantooine? <laughs> <laughs> we are literally on Dantooine again. Yeah yeah, with a different skybox. But the qu oh almost dropped my controller there. But. I guess what I'm trying to say is, as a result of this being, like, I, I, if it, does this then create the world lore of the image of that piece of Mandalorian light armor? You know what I mean? Does the Masasi design have to now look like Asset 14 because that's all we had? You know, you know, I feel like, especially with Swotor, they, uh, they may have updated the designs a little bit. Okay. I feel like they got a little bit more time and a little bit more budget. Okay. Fine. That game's still updating, by the way. Tor is still getting new stuff. The new stuff just came out recently. That's ridiculous. Which I'm excited for, but I'm also terrified because it is EA, and I feel like when they're done, they're going to shut it down, and then we'll never be able to play it ever again. It's ridiculous that that's still getting updated, and it's ridiculous that Clone Wars is still happening. Right? I'm surprised to hear that that, sh that shit's active. Honestly, I'm totally fine with Clone Wars ending at Season 6, but I'm going to watch Season 7. But like, but it's so weird that you'd have that and Rebels is going at the same time. Rebels is already done. It's now Resistance. There's a new, there's a third show. But, the, but, but, but do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. But why is one not replacing the other? Well, the secret answer is nostalgia. Remember these characters? Do yeah. you remember them? Yeah. So there's a point to keeping them around. Yeah. In the meantime, yeah. we can follow the modern story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like with the uh, with the high with the High Republic. While I'm still excited, you know they're throwing Yoda in there. They're gonna throw in six uh, six or seven hundred year old Yoda in his prime. If the time with, lines as the, as, up, as the as well, it's two hundred years prior. It'll be there. He won't be the Grand Master yet. He'll be just the, the cool swordsman boy who's. The cool, and it's just like okay, Young Yoda. I, I, they're gonna do it. They're gonna throw him in there at least once, just yeah. because that's it's it's a face with a big old like swoop of like emo hair. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> please, please give. Okay, so we got the. Uh, All right, that's progression, base. and I think we're done. I think we've looted everything in here. Okay, what about that corner over there, though? We can go check the corner, but I think we got most of it. Although, about to see if I am wrong. Oh, I think I'm wrong. Behind you? Haha, I'm not wrong. Okay. It looked like a place where an opening might be. Fair enough. 
All right, so into the next big area. You think Yoda and Yaddle are gonna be hanging out? Uh, probably. Yaddle will still be a thing. I think. I think she sacrifices herself in a in a off in a book somewhere for Anakin. Hence why you don't see here. They needed some type of. Ooh, baby. Okay, that's a good level to pop right now. Ooh, baby, a triple. All right. So at this point, Constitution. Because the higher a Constitution, the better implants we can have. Okay. That'd be the best bet. Because I know you're thinking like strength. You're thinking other things, but. If we um, have a higher constitution, we can put in implants that just give us those buffs, anyways. Okay, so you just you just bypass that. You yeah. To, gotcha. Yeah, because I would I would I would also once we get to well once we get to constitution eighteen, there's that's as high as it can go as far as like the the upgrades. But even just sixteen will be fine. That'll give us access to like, I think like three quarters of all the up uh, of all the uh, implants, and then we'll be getting like implants that it's like. Just two to all your physical attributes, or two to all your mental attributes, okay. or or like plus five or six to all your skills. You know, force immunity paralysis. So we are at max level of a uh, or of the max maxed out thing of um, the skills for Sentinel. Basically, we can't be affected by mind stuff anymore. Let me get the description on that. Uh, where is it? Should be ah, oh, there it is. The Jedi is one with the force moving within it as it moves with all things. The connection prevents the fear or loss of senses and blocks any attempt at paralyzation. The feat is always active. This feat replaces force immunity. So you stone. can't be locked down. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't really, I, it doesn't sound like I'm slowly getting my force back. It sounds like I'm fully in it and surpassing anybody uh. that has been practicing for a while. I mean, you know... You're not wrong. Okay. Well. I'll okay. So we got a few options here. We got yeah. a few options now. Uh, so proficiency, two type fighting, caution. So let's start with some basic questions. Do we want to get more toughness? Do you want to max that out first before we go forward? Not necessarily. Do we want to start specializing in two weapon or single weapon? This fist of mine is burning red. So that'd be single weapon, which you weird considering. Um, or do we want to... Uh, really? Yes, it's a single weapon. You would think it'd be double, but it's only one weapon. It only counts as one. Huh. Yeah. And, On uh, account of this nickel right here. Yeah, you gotta, it's, yeah you I, guess, I guess you only punch with your right. Not, not, not the double deuces. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a weird part of the, me of the game mechanic. Um, also, that means they'd have to give you a huge debuff for fist cuffs if it was double wielding and you didn't know how to use double wielding. So that'd be, oh. that'd be fair. Souls games. Yeah. Cestus. So. Or, or the other option we can go is, do you want to start specializing in a super cool attack? A particular attack? Yeah, like Fury or a power attack or a critical strike. Oh, no, no, no. no Not yet? No, Still no, want to play around? Okay. Um, I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't mind swinging those out at random and seeing what, what whiffs and what gets saved. Because uh, I would recommend either Flurry or power attack as the one you specialize in. At that, we'll have enough time to get all the abilities we want, but one or the other, because Master Flurry has no debuffs, has no negative debuffs when you use it. And Master Power Attack, I think it makes you like miss like a minus three to your attack, but it crits times three if it crits. That sounds fine. Yeah, so I would but do I'm, one or the other. I'm here to punch things. Oh yeah, but you could you could punch times three crit. <laughs> oh, with the flurry, yes. with flurry you're saying. Yeah. I see what yeah. you're saying, right, yeah. right, right. It's, I, I keep thinking- Not with flurry, but yes. Okay, no, because I'm thinking of those abilities as uh, not weapon abilities, but as sword abilities. Yeah, no, they because are because of the icon. Ability. Yeah, and the icon just makes me think, oh, you do these tricks with your sword almost, but that's not what it is. No. It's whatever you're using. So if you want like punching, you could fl if you have flurry on, you do more than one. Or punch yeah, or power attack. Yes, yes, yes yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's where I'm getting a little bit. Longer, and right. yeah, flurry and power attacks kind of where you split the fandom down. Is like it's everyone's kind of like one or the one other. Or the other. Well, I went full flurry last time. Mm -hmm. I'm getting more results out of power attack here, mm -hmm. and uh, the debuff on power attack is uh, it makes it it drops your attack like your your chance to hit. Okay, but it does more damage. Right, and then whereas flurry is accuracy, uh, your defense, defense, defense it drops defense, your defense. Right, so it makes right. it easier to hit on the next turn. So once you get to max flurry, you will not have any defense debuff. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, and then the toughness going up is yeah. yeah we're not. I'm not, we're not having a problem with toughness right now. So not yet. I'm fine with that. Um, Especially since we're also uh, investing in constitution, which gives us more health points. Anyways. Okay, so power attack is over here. Uh, improve power attack. Uh, so improve power. So by comparison, power attack one, 
just mouse over yeah. that or scroll over that. So it gives you a minus three chance to hit, and uh, it give but it gives you plus three damage, and it gives you a plus one to your crit. And uh, this goes plus seven. Plus seven. Yeah. Panel three minus three. Okay. So it's still minus. Same, so this yeah. Just bigger bigger reward. Yeah. Bigger bigger damage. And then eventually plus twelve. With still minus three. Now imagine plus twelve with a power attack with your knight speed on, where you're doing two power attacks. Right. 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 So that's the trade off, as opposed to a flurry attack, where you would do doing one more extra attack on the on your flurry attack if you did four speed. And this. So now this is where the numbers start crunching. This is where it starts getting a little more number. No. Heavy. Do you want no penalties and? Yeah. Or, and extra attacks, or do you want big hits and critical chance, critical hit chance modifiers to mm-hmm. do the big crit damage? You know. Yeah, I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm done going down that road. The best one I ever had was I had a, a lightsaber swing that hit five times, and each one crit. So I did five hundred damage in one yeah. swing. <laughs> okay. So yeah, okay. Like, th- like, like, yeah. All right. So it can get nuts. Uh, improve power attack. Okay. Um, powers resilience is. So we have a second lightsaber form. Lightsaber form. Yeah. I've never. This is new to me. Yeah, these are a new mechanic for the game. These are also the names of the lightsaber. But like forms you said, you, but you said in canon lore, there's yeah. these are the names. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are they based on a particular language from a specific race? I'm not sure, but I believe this is the force form that uh, um, Obi Wan is specialized in. It's the defensive one against blasters. Okay. That's if good. I if I remember correctly, um, Dooku is specialized in the dueling one, being the fencer. Go figure. Huh, huh. Uh, let me get the description on that. Oh, we can't get it from this menu. We have to it, do it, it, menu. it would not be there. Okay. All right. right. So destroy droid right now. Uh, fucking wreck their shit. Yeah, we should have it now. Where was you? We're getting it at the perfect time. There we go. Bam. Fuck yeah. Oh, this is, Absolutely. You're going to love this next area. Absolutely. Now that we have that, oh boy, yeah. Great. Uh, huh. And there we go. Level 12.